Hello, this is Brian Resney, president of Resney Wealth Management. We're seeing some great economic numbers coming out of the U.S. In fact, manufacturing data that came out yesterday was, was actually quite excellent. Also, this morning, I'm looking at some of the rail car numbers from some of the, obviously, the, the freight delivery companies on the rail system. And again, these numbers are in an improving uptrend. Uptrend in rails tells me one thing. Products are being sold, people are ordering new products, things are being manufactured, and we're seeing improvement in the U.S. economy. I firmly believe as we go through 2014 that we're going to continue to see strength and maybe even possible improving strength as we get into the second half of 2014. Remember the first half of 2014, at least the first quarter, had a pretty substantially bad uh, economic or weather condition which deteriorated some of the economic uh, numbers in the first quarter. Again, bad weather, people stay home a little bit, they spend a little bit less. Typically, what we then see is pent-up demand that starts to come in in the second and third and fourth quarter of that year. This should bode well for GDP, which again, my target's around 3% for 2014. At a 3% factor in GDP, this means improving job numbers. This, improve, uh, this will hopefully improve wages. And inflation seems to be fairly contained and fairly uh, tame at this point. Janet Yellen is going to be speaking, of course, this week. I firmly believe they're going to continue to, to, to taper their bond buying purchase, which ultimately, in my opinion, again, we're going to see probably between 3 to 3.5% three on the 10-year on interest rates. So bond investors are probably, again, going to get hurt in 2014 as they were in 2013. Of course, we are on the right side of the fence at Resident Wealth Management on the bond exposure, which we are in floating rate securities, which act very well in a rise in interest rate environment, protection of principal, of course, uh, because rates don't impact short-term fluctuations in bond prices on a floating rate because they're very, very short-term. Also, as those rates go up, we can get a correspondingly higher rate on that fixed income side. On the equity base side, again, we continue to be primarily in the U.S., which has been one of the stronger places to be on a relative strength basis, and also economic stance. Of course, Russia, and I've talked about this before, Russia, mood point. Uh, it looks like Crimea is also going to be annexed, obviously, in Russia. At the end of the day, the U.S. doesn't want to be in war again, and nor do the U.S. people. Uh, the sanctions, to me, will have little impact on Russia. And both sides, basically, are going to figure out language, so they both come out looking halfway decent. So at the end of the day, no war in Russia. Crimea will be part of Russia again. And at the end of the day... This bodes well for economic strength as this was a quick short-term event that lasted relatively less than a month and this should bode well again for improvements in the U.S. economy. You know, one of the things that I want to discuss just a little bit, of course, is what we're going to see on the job numbers. What One of the areas that always is going to help the economy is an improving jobs picture. Not only on earnings, but also actual people going back to work. I can tell you at Resney Wealth Management, we've hired a couple new employees over the last quarter or so, and we're actually looking for another one in 2014. Our toughest uh, problem is really finding qualified and people who really want to work and, and, and really put in that effort. So it's not that... Um, companies, and, and again, not that Resident Wealth Management is the only company out there hiring. We talk to a lot of business owners, small and large, all the time. Uh, but we're trying to hire. And our, again, our biggest problem is just finding qualified people who actually want to work and want to get off unemployment. So again, unemployment's getting better. This bodes well for the economy. Consumers paid down massive amounts of debt over the last five or six years. This, again, bodes well for the economy. We're seeing corporate earnings getting uh, pushed up, or meaning earnings estimates are going up, which, again, bodes well for the economy. Our short-term, our intermediate, and our long-term market trend indicators on the asset categories that we hold are currently positive. I can't say that they're positive for other asset categories that are relatively weak, and that we do not own at, Rel at, at, at Resney Wealth Management. Remember, relative strength in an uptrend sell into relative weakness as an asset starts to get weak. By the way, I talked a little bit about Russia earlier. Russia is one of the weakest economies overall around the world. In fact, Russia's stock market's down around 25% year to date, relatively weak. My clients are, of course, glad to know that we do not own Russia. We are watching it because we may get a bounce back at some point this year where Russia, because it is so cheap on a, on a multiple basis, 
relative weakness it is, we won't own it, but on a multiple basis, it's actually very inexpensive. If we get some strength back in that economy in their markets, that may be a sector down the road that we may own. Remember, you never want to buy relative weakness. You want to buy into relative strength, and you want to sell asset categories that have been relatively strong, but are starting to go into a downtrend and start to become relatively weak against competing asset categories. Of course, if you're a client of Resney Wealth Management, please give us a call if you have any questions. If you're not a client of Resney Wealth Management or our clients have referrals, we always appreciate your business and your referrals. Again, if you're not a client, call our office for a consultation. Maybe it's time you became a client. There is a difference. We do invite you to experience it. Visit our website, resneywealth.com and make sure that you listen to my live TV show on Wednesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Time throughout Florida. And of course, we will have another live radio show this Sunday. Make sure you have yourself a safe and profitable day.